I'm going to tread lightly here because I have a friendship on the line with this next <laughs> thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I do. Um, but I think it's really important that that this person gets recognized. I, I think it's incredibly important. I do too. For all that he's done for this organization, for different <clears throat> players. Today was um, head equipment manager Stan Wilson's 2,500th <laughs> game. 2,500 games. You play Pause eight? right there. Pause right there. Stan, it was Petey's idea. Yeah, it was. <laughs> but it was. And Craig said no. But, but but keep in mind, 82 games a season. That's over 30 years. But guess what? There were lockouts. There were strikes. There was yes. COVID. That's... He started his career with the Winnipeg Jets. And Dan Danielle, you're going to help take us down memory lane as I talk about Stan. He's made it through how many ownership groups, GMs, head coaches, but the only and the only consistent constant with the Arizona Coyotes has been Stan Wilson. And, and <laughs> he doesn't like the attention. He'd be mad at me doing this. There's no question he'd be mad about this. It's not about me. He would say it's about the players. I'm just doing my job. But Starry Stan today... It's about you. 1990 started in the NHL with the Winnipeg Jets. He's had over 30 years in NHL pro hockey. And I can't, when I was thinking about that number, 30, how many young men have gone through the doors of the equipment room and how many lives have been affected by this man, including mine? He's the first face that many players in the National Hockey League see for the very first time in their pro experience. And he's the first face that they get to know. He is the bridge to pro hockey for so many young men. And he treated each and every one of those young men with respect and sincerity. Everything he does, he does professionally. He's the man that taught me how to do things the NHL way, which is the right way. There are no shortcuts in the National Hockey League. He's been a mentor that has helped so many people. And you look at the people underneath him that have worked here in Arizona. You look at Chris Frosty Scopetto, who is now the head equipment manager for the New, G New Jersey Devils. Tony DaCosta, he's the head equipment manager for the Minnesota Wild. Both worked years under Stan Wilson. And I've heard the term used a lot, best in the business. It's bantered about a lot of people that have worked in hockey. But when it comes to Stan, it truly applies. I've relied on Stan for advice on all things in life and hockey over the last 25 years, and I'm honored to be able to call Stan Wilson a friend. And on behalf of all the Coyote staff, especially the equipment staff, Tony, Jason, and Ryan, and on behalf of his family, Shelly, his kids, Colby and Denver, and all of his grandkids. Congratulations to you, Stan, on 2,500 games. It's an incredible accomplishment, and I'm glad I was alongside of you for some of that ride. Thanks, Stan. You deserve congratulations today. Wow. That was well said, Petey. Very well Nicely said. Nicely done. Nicely done. Sorry, Stan. <laughs> Stan Wilson, by the way, this should, this should give you a sense of who Stan Wilson is, and I think a lot of people know this already. Who does Shane Doan call his best friend? Yep. It's Stan Wilson. Stan Wilson. Yep. He's he's a genuine. Yep. He's a genuine human being. Tells you like it is, and, and I trust his opinion. I value what he says. Um, I am sincerely proud that he's my friend. And I know you guys don't believe this. He's gonna be so mad at me. <laughs> like I'm gonna get a call today. He's gonna be pissed because he doesn't want it. He's, he he thinks he's just going to do his job. He really does. But 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 I'm glad I had the forum to do that today. So hats off to Stan. Thank you for being a part of, of the Coyote's journey.